The story of Max Payne follows a New York detective who becomes a vigilante after his wife and newborn daughter are murdered by addicts of a new drug called Valkyr. With the odds stacked against him, he seeks to topple the criminal organization and secret societies responsible for this drug, and therefore avenge the death of his family through his own brand of vigilante justice. Let's break down the myth of Max Payne. Better understand yourself. The Hero's Journey is a story framework theorized by Joseph Campbell. He studied thousands of ancient myths and discovered that these stories followed a pattern of 12 plot points. He hypothesized that this pattern emerged because all human beings share the same formative psychological moments, such as leaving home or building new friendships. Today, The Hero's Journey has been adopted by screenwriters and authors as an aid to plot their stories, with notable examples from Pixar and Marvel Studios. The Ordinary World is the time when the internal and external conflicts of the hero are revealed. The Ordinary World is static yet unstable. Max Payne is excelling in his career and he's starting a new chapter in his domestic life, building a family with his wife and newborn daughter. He's portrayed as a man for whom everything is going right, which indicates that the world is imbalanced and due for a correction. The call to adventure can sometimes be the loss of a need or necessity and the call is the hero being driven to reclaim or replace that necessity. Max returns home from the job to find that his wife and baby have been murdered by addicts of a new street drug called Valkyr. Previously he had turned down promotions so he could stay at home and be a better father and husband. The loss of his family has completely overturned his life, not only were they his support system, but they were his future. The refusal of the call is a time when the hero reveals that they are frightened by the adventure ahead. After Max discovers the lifeless body of his family, he holds his wife in his arms and screams no in a symbolic refusal. He doesn't want to accept their loss, and he doesn't want to begin his journey for vigilante justice. The mentor is someone who provides information and guidance to the hero throughout the adventure. Some genres subvert this part of the hero's journey. Horror movies will forego a mentor because the unknown is more threatening, and mystery or noir stories will forego a mentor as this leaves more questions unanswered, driving the hero to find the answers for himself. After the death of his family, Max accepts an undercover position with the DEA, and he infiltrates the Punchinello crime family. They're suspected as being responsible for the Valkyrie epidemic, and therefore indirectly responsible for the death of the Payne family. Max's partner and undercover handler Alex would have been Max's mentor. He helped build the case against the Punchinello crime family, and he could have provided case notes, weapons, and backup to Max while he was undercover. After all, Alex was one of only two people who knew Max was undercover. However, just before their secret meeting, Alex is shot by an unseen gunman. The crossing of the first threshold is a time when the hero can no longer turn back and must commit wholeheartedly to the adventure. Some mystery or noir stories will frame the hero to force them across the threshold and prevent them from turning back or fleeing the case. They must commit to the adventure to clear their name. Max is framed for the murder of his partner Alex. The NYPD and Deputy Chief Bravora target Max in the name of justice. Meanwhile, the Punchinello crime family is informed that Max is an undercover cop. To clear his name and avoid being arrested or killed by law enforcement, Max must continue the investigation. This is the moment when he has few friends and many enemies. His resolve is tested and he's forced to forge ahead. Enemies Max's first lead in his investigation is Jack Lupino, a boss in the Punchinello crime family. During the investigation, Max discovers the Punchinellos are in a turf war with Vladimir Lem, a Russian crime family. Lupino's capo is captured and beaten into confessing Lupino's location at Club Ragnarok. Here, Max battles and executes Lupino. Angelo Punchinello Punchinello is the Don of the Punchinello crime family and he's responsible for distributing Valkyr on the streets. He's married to Lisa Sachs, who's Mona's sister, and Max Payne considers Angelo responsible for the death of his family. Nicole Horn She's an even worse enemy than Angelo Punchinello. She murders Angelo and injects Max with a dose of Valkyr. She's the CEO of Aesir, 
the corporation that's responsible for the production of the drug. Allies After murdering Lupino, we meet Mona Sachs. Mona's become an assassin. She's on a mission to rescue her sister, who is also Angelo's wife. She informs Max that Angelo orchestrated the murder of his handler and mentor, Alex, and framed Max for the crime. She doses Max's drink to prevent him from interfering with her mission. As an ally, Mona provides Max with information and assistance in battle. Vladimir Lem Lem requests a temporary alliance providing Max with firepower in exchange for reclaiming his shipment from the Russian ship, the Sharon, and murdering the mutineers. In this way, Lem is an ally who helps Max arm himself for the battle ahead. Alfred Woden is a senator and whistleblower who gives Max key information about Nicole Horn, the Aesir Corporation, and the Inner Circle. By providing Max with this information, he helps Max prepare for the ordeal ahead. The approach to the inmost cave is a time for the hero to make plans, do reconnaissance on the enemy, reorganize or thin out the group, or fortify and arm themselves. Max believes his battle with Punchinello will be the end of his journey for vengeance. He believes Punchinello is responsible for Valkyr and for the death of his family. He secures weapons on the Sharon as part of his deal with Lem, which is his attempt to fortify and arm himself. After failing to assassinate Punchinello at the restaurant, Max attacks his house. Here, Max defeats the infamous right hands of the Mafia Don, the trio, who serve as threshold guardians. Just as Max finds and confronts Angelo, professional hitmen in suits arrive alongside a new foe, Nicole Horn. She injects Max with a dose of Valkyr and murders Punchinello before Max can get a chance. Previously, Max thought the murder of Punchinello would have been his ordeal, the purpose for his journey. However, when Nicole Horn is revealed as an even worse enemy, Max must pass into a special world within a special world, one where Nicole is the archenemy, not Punchinello. He discovers Horn was contracted by the army for chemical development of a serum that would create super soldiers. This was Project Valhalla. Horn failed the army, but she continued to develop the drug, which came to be known as Valkyr. During his investigation, Max discovers that Valkyr test subjects were sent to their home to murder his wife, Mrs. Payne. This is because Miss Payne was a district attorney who had discovered Horn and Aesir were responsible for the Valkyr epidemic. This information is confirmed by tipster Alfred Woden. He informs Max of an Illuminati type organization, the Inner Circle. They are more powerful than the Punchinello crime family, and Woden says that they've been blackmailed by Horn to expunge her record and erase any trace of Mrs. Payne's investigation. Woden offers to clear Max's criminal history if he can defeat Horn. The ordeal is a moment when death must be seen as imminent and inescapable. The hero may die, witness a death, or cause a death during the ordeal. Max enters the Aesir building and discovers evidence that the inner circle is much more far-reaching, influential, and diabolical than the Punchinello crime family. Max briefly meets Mona Sachs who has evaded death through her battle with Punchinello. Here, she's shot in the head during a brief gunfight before disappearing into a closing elevator. This indicates the enemies here are more powerful and the stakes are higher. Max battles through the building against Horn's well-staffed and well-armed security forces. As Horn attempts to escape via helicopter, Max shoots the stabilizing cables of a radio tower, which topples and collides with her helicopter before it can take off. Here, Max has defeated his greatest adversary and successfully survived the ordeal. The reward is a time when the hero finally seizes what was being sought for so long through the adventure. For Max Payne, his reward was vengeance for the murder of his daughter and wife. He had answers to all the questions that came with their murders and he successfully brought justice to nearly all of those responsible for the creation and distribution of Valkyr. The road back is a time when the hero returns from the special world back to the ordinary world. Max has delivered his brand of vigilante justice and he surrenders himself to the police as a method of returning to the ordinary world. Max is in the back seat of a police cruiser, headed down the road toward the jail and courthouse, symbolically returning from his own brand of justice to more conventional forms of justice. 
he assumes he will have to answer for the crimes he committed. During the resurrection, the hero is reborn as a result of the adventure. Max has been resurrected as someone new, no longer obsessed with vengeance or willing to lose his life in its pursuit. He's no longer solely defined by the loss of his family. He will have to redefine himself and move forward. The return with the elixir is a time when the plot is completely resolved, but not without a sudden revelation or surprise. Just as Max is placed within the police cruiser, he sees Alfred Woden. The man was not killed during the raid on the inner circle, and Max thinks to himself that Woden better keep his promise and clear his name. So that's the myth of Max Payne. Come join me, Super Bowl Pants, on Twitch for live playthroughs. If you have questions or requests, post them in the comments below. More of the Myth of series can be found right here.